I've always had like, because I don't know if it was just my school in Australia, but like, you know, when you watch like American, uh, like high school movies yeah. and mm -hmm. that had like the cafeteria, like yeah, the cafeteria. Yeah. Well, there was like the lunch lady and there was yeah. like, this was like the serving of the day, you know, mm. kind of shit. Like, I don't know why, did, did you look at that and go like, I wish I had that in my school. Well, I, th I, I think Americans wish they had that in their yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, like, like, cause I remember like watching American high school movies and I'm like, damn, I wish yeah. my high school was yeah. this cool. Like every Simpsons episode I, yeah. I watched and like Bart was in the cafeteria. I was like, man, that's, that looks fucking cool. <laughs> What? Does every American school have that? Lo and behold, I know yeah. not every American school has yeah, that. Yeah. I was just shocked that everyone had cars. <laughs> That's what blew me away. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like a 15 year old kid and it's yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I'll pick you up tonight. I was like, it, it was like, do you it, mean it, your parents are gonna pick you up tonight yeah. or? I don't know what was going on in the 2000s, but like every single thing, it wasn't about like, if you had a car, it was mm. like, which car you had. Was yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, what do you, what, you, you all have cars? It's like it's like what? yeah. It's like well, oh sorry, I'm gonna go pick you up. In when my when mom's did you guys car. first like learn to drive? And did you, did you learn how to drive like immediately when you could, or did you? Yeah, like, like when I complicated story. Oh, for complicated me, it was story. like the moment you hit 16. What's, you can com what's complicated learn how to drive. about it? <laughs> how, what, how did this be complicated? So I started learning how to drive when right. I was uh, 17, which is when you do in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what sucks is that because my birthday was in July, which is the end of the school year, people who, who started in September had already like way passed, got their cars and were driving. Wait, the school yeah. year ends in July? Oh, sorry, ends in September, sorry. September? Uh, no, it starts in sorry, September. Sorry, starts in September, ends in like August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if we're talking about that. Wait, when does yours? It's January. What? Your school year starts in January? Yeah. What? It, it ends in December, starts in January. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, okay, so wait, wait. How do summer holidays work for you then? Summer holidays is December. But then when do you get Christmas holidays? So you end, so uh, actually it technically starts in February. So okay. we end school middle of December and then you celebrate Christmas and holidays during holidays and then all of January is summer holidays. And then you come back in so February. So how long do you get off then? During summer holidays? Yeah. Like, depends on the school, but like, usually like a month and a half. Oh, cause oh, we, okay. we get like two, nearly three months. Cause it's pretty much the uh, first half of August is when it ends, right? Yeah, yeah. And then- Well, are we talking September. university or are we talking like secondary, secondary, secondary school? Both are the same, right? Ish. Yeah, for us it was all the same. No, 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 in university. I, rem I remember in university, you get like fucking three months off. And those were like, those were, that was like before that, like school holidays for me were always, the summer holiday was six weeks. It was always six weeks. Winter oh, yeah, holidays, winter holidays was two weeks. Yeah. And then we'd have like half terms where you'd get like, where you'd always, where you'd get like one week off like halfway through the term. Spring and autumn holidays. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So all together we got like, we got, we must got like about around two months of holiday that was spread yeah. out. And then like university here. And I remember thinking, yo, what the fuck? We get three months off for, for like, for, for, uh, we get three months off of summer. Why am I even going to fucking education yeah, anymore, man? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the first time I experienced the first like summer holidays in uni, I was yeah. like, well, see you at university <laughs> never again. <laughs> I, remember when, yeah. I, I remember when summer holiday started in university. I'm just like, well, I'm just not gonna go back to uni. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's three months, yeah. right? That's like, you know, you know when you it, can't imagine the end of summer long, holiday. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so the point, point was that yeah. basically kids who were born in September, mm. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, fuck, what am I saying? I'm checking my ass. Kids who had their birthday, like in my year, mm. who were like really close to the start of the year, yeah. Yeah. basically got to have their license and already had it. Right, and were like cool, right, yeah, yeah, cool yeah, yeah. shit. Um, and you were right at the end. Yeah. So oh, they, right. Yeah. So they were in yeah. my year. Cause it didn't matter if you were the year above cause yeah. you weren't friends, right? Like, yeah. Even if I was closer in age technically. Mm. So like the, the people who got it first were like the coolest ones. Oh, yeah. Cause yeah, it was course, like, yeah. every, everyone was like, oh, can, can we give me a lift? Oh, oh, go here, yeah. you know? oh I'll drive you there. It's like, fuck. Yeah. Wait, Cause, so, cause, so is that, is that, wait, so, so like for, for in the UK, you guys have like different stages in your driving license, right? Like you have like learners. Yeah, with like provisional, provisional, provisional stuff like that. Yeah. So when you're on your first level, like when There's you first- yeah. So you, you have it or you're yeah. learning. Okay, so when you're learning, can you just like drive by yourself? No. No. Okay. No, you, you, you have need, to have need, someone in the passenger seat, right? There needs okay. to be someone who supervises yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Supervises you and has how many years of experience? So X amount of years right, driving right. Yeah. and you can't go on like the highways. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So like it's only until your provisionals that you can drive by yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, but yeah. Not, the problem is that you, normally not that you can't find someone, it's that you can't get a car. <laughs> yeah. Because you need to be insured. And that was what the hard part was because insurance for, for like a 17 year old 
It's you ridiculous. need to be insured? Yeah, you, have you have need to be insured. To be insured. Yeah. No, I could, I could just use my mom's car. <clears throat> no, you might have had it, family insurance. Oh, yeah. maybe I don't know. But like, but like, if yeah, even if if you are under family insurance, your price gets like tripled. Right. If you have like, if you have a seventeen yeah. year old on your license, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, insane. Okay. Like yeah. the reason why it was just like no one owned a car except for a few people yeah. was because the the insurance cost was like triple or quadruple the car. Yeah, right, right. The yeah. car was nothing. Like mm. my mate got a car for like a hundred quid mm. off some guy. Mm. The insurance was like a thousand plus. Yeah. So it was like, Jesus. It's, yeah, it's, yeah it's it, was, so, it was more cost for the insurance than right. the car itself. But lessons were expensive as well. I yeah. did lessons, my brother had already passed and you know, so it was my turn. Mm. I was doing it and it was going well. And then every now and then the, the guy would just kind of call me up because I was learning through just a guy. Mm. Yeah. That was how you mainly learn in the, in, at least the countryside in the, mm. in the yeah. UK. And he was he'd be kind of flaky. He would kind of like, he wouldn't show up sometimes. And then sometimes he would just stop. Mm. And then I'm, I'm about, I wanna say two thirds away from getting my test. Mm. And he just calls up and he's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I've quit. I'm just not doing it anymore. I'm not doing, <laughs> I've, I've decided that I don't wanna do wow. instructing uh, people because the costs on the car are too much and stuff. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, well, so I thought, oh, it can't be too hard to find another one. My mom just could not find another instructor because mm. they're all booked up because there's not many in my this area. This is during yeah. your learning stage, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Normally like the, they get booked up pretty quickly because there's mm. not that many because yeah. it's not very profitable. Mm. It's yeah. really like doesn't make much money and it's a lot of work um, and it's a lot of upkeep on the car as well. Yeah. yeah. So he, he did that and, and then I couldn't, I couldn't find one for like, I want to say right up until like three months before I was leaving for university. Mm. Right. So I had to get back into it. It'd been like a, six, seven months, because I couldn't mm. find anyone. Yeah. Started doing it again, and I was kind of getting okay at it, and I was maybe like, I don't know, I want to say like 10 lessons off doing the test. Mm. Right. I'd go to university. Right. And then I just didn't do it. Yeah, of yeah. course. Because I was busy having fun. Yeah, because yeah. like, and you don't need a car in university. No, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. And, um, you know, I <clears throat> didn't have my license, and then it became something that I was kind of like, okay, don't really want to do this anymore because it's mm. kind of in the way. And yeah. It's a really pain in the ass and I have to start from zero again. And if I did do it, I thought oh, I'll do one of those like, cause you can do like week intensive course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. you just drive for like eight hours a day. Yeah. And then you do your test and hopefully you pass. Statistically, they're like the worst drivers. Yeah. Uh, but you know. Cause you're uh, basically speed running yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I, you know, I, I'd gone through all of uni, never did it. And at this point, like in the UK, you have to have two things, a theory test and a practical test. Yeah, yeah. Theory is really easy, but it only lasts two years after you've done it. So mine had expired. Right. So I had to go and do it again. Right. Yeah. So I was in London and I was like, oh fuck, okay, I'll go, I'll go and get it. I'm gonna actually learn to drive. Yeah. And then I booked one of these courses that was like really expensive yeah. for like five days. Yeah. And their like promise was, you will guaranteed get your license by day five. <laughs> and anyone who says guaranteed, guaranteed, yeah. guaranteed, guaranteed to get a that's license, flags, that, that's dude. sus as fuck, bro. Yeah, that is sus flags. as fuck. So I, I started driving yeah. uh, and I had this guy and he's Welsh. And I was like, oh great, he's Welsh, he'll be really nice. I he, can bribe him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he wasn't my, he wasn't testing me, but I was using right, his right, car. Right. And you're also allowed to use that person's car for the test and stuff. Right. You know, he's really good. He was nice start, you know, he was like, oh, you're Welsh, good, good. I like Welsh people. And we were both in London. So it was kind of like, oh, nice, nice. He was really weird. Uh, <laughs> he would also take any opportunity to insult women drivers. <laughs> he, would, he was really weird. I'm he, about to commit misogyny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally, he literally, he literally, Every car just passed. Yeah. <laughs> Anything would happen, and he would be like, "Fucking woman driver, innit? Fucking woman driver." And I'm like, "I was like, it's who get I?" And he was like, "Oh, you know." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" It's really uncomfortable at times. He would yeah, say yeah, things, yeah. and also he would sometimes, you know, because you you're in the car for like six hours, seven hours. Yeah, right. You know, you talk about life and stuff. He would yeah. bring up some things, and he'd bring up some of his his views on the world. Yeah, that you'd be like. Yeah, 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 terrible, <laughs> really terrible, yeah. Ugh, really yeah. Cool. awful situation, can't stand it. We're parking by the way, we, <laughs> where, are we, how long, where are we going? <laughs> my, my, my dad, uh, uh, my dad as well kind of has like that weird, like he creates these like stereotypes out of nowhere when it comes to like driving. Yeah. It, it's so weird, now, that, now yeah. that I think about it, I'm like every time, I remember there was moments where like my dad would be driving. My dad will say he doesn't have road rage. He absolutely <laughs> fucking has road rage. Like I, I don't care what he says because every time, I remember like every time, 
he'd be on the road and there'd just be like someone who's like ticking him off for whatever reason. He'd be like, oh, fucking, fucking move. And then he'd, you know, get into the lane, look him dead and like do the Luigi death stare yeah. at him. And they'd be like, oh, it's a fucking Volvo driver, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like, I don't think <laughs> every all, Volvo- yeah, yeah, yeah. All dads do I'm like, this. I don't think yeah. every Volvo driver is necessarily a bad like, driver. Like BMW drivers yeah. Yeah. are like a massive dickhead. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm like why, what is your personal vendetta against Volvo? Yeah, cause, cause like, I remember like the, one of the biggest stereotypes was like Asians are like bad drivers, right? Oh, yeah. And like, I don't, I don't I don't think necessarily Asians are bad drivers. I think Asians just drive by the rules of their own country, exactly. which is just like a fucking free for all. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, I remember because like, I remember when, uh, when I first learned how to drive, I didn't actually first learn how to drive uh, in the UK, yeah. right? So I, th I believe oh like- God, God yeah. turns up in the UK like crazy taxi. <laughs> yeah, so, so what happened is, um, so I was like turning 17 that year. So I could I could uh, learn how to drive in the UK, but yeah. I believe in Thailand, like uh, you can like start learning from like 16. I'm not sure if that's, I'm not sure of the exact age, <laughs> but, but, like, but, but I, uh, I remember I could legally get lessons to learn how to drive. So I was just like, right, why don't, why don't I get a head start on learning how to drive before I start driving in the UK? So, yeah. I, uh, so I start learning to drive in Thailand, right. in Bangkok, right? God. Um, and- um, it's, and like the, it's like the dark souls of driving. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the dark souls of driving. So like I take a few lessons there and yeah. I get, you know, I get pretty confident in driving mm. in Bangkok with Thailand rules, yeah. right? So, so uh, you know, I can, I can competently handle a car and uh, definitely competently handle traffic, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, and so I remember uh, I, I go back to the UK and I turn 17 and I sign up for my first lesson. Um, and then I, I uh, so the instructor turns up and uh, you know, we just have a casual chat before, before we start driving. Um, and uh, then he asked me, oh, you, have you had like any experiences or did you like use your provisional license or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, uh, I've actually, I have, I've actually like learned how to drive in Thailand. Like I, I said this like with confidence, like <laughs> I know how to drive He's a car. Breaking it. Yeah, I know how to drive a car. I've, uh, <laughs> I've started to learn how to drive in uh, Thailand, you know, I've, Pretty confident on Bangkok roads, so you know. Like, I, could you repeat that? <laughs> and so you know, so, so you know, I so I'm pretty confident about it. Yeah. So so he's like, oh, okay, okay. So let, let's let's get, let's get this first lesson started then. Mm. And so immediately, I just drive off, mm. and he goes, "Stop! You've immediately failed." <laughs> Because I didn't oh check, God. I didn't check my mirrors. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I know they they do this to be like they they, they just want you to do it. I, yeah. I understand, but yeah. like that that the guy who I had right when I was doing yeah. this, it's like. He couldn't just say you did something wrong. It had to be this whole ordeal where he was like, that was a really good turn for a bitch. It was, you know what I mean? It was like, nothing could be, every single thing had to be packaged with an insult. It was like, yeah, yeah. that was really good on the roundabout if you wanted to kill someone. <laughs> if you're a woman. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, you didn't check your mirrors? Like a woman. Yeah. Like, like, he would do this all the time. It was so infuriating. Yeah. Cause I was just trying to get good. And every single time I'd be like, how was this? He was like, that was great. If you want to kill someone, Colin. Right. And I was like, <laughs> Just tell me how it was. At least, at least for you, it was just like not checking your mirrors. Like my my my, my no. uncle failed his first driving test because he was like, "All right, get in the car, check all the mirrors. All right, let's drive off." And it's like, "Stop! You've immediately failed. You oh, drove no. out the exit." <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's no. like, oh, all right. So he literally got in the car, two and didn't even make it out of the driveway, and he was yeah. like, "You've instantly failed. Come back tomorrow." Yeah, because yeah, well, sucks. They make you do it, don't they? Yeah, you... because like I remember when I learned how to drive in England, I basically had to relearn driving yeah, from yeah, like yeah, what yeah. I was taught in Thailand. Because in Thailand, they they teach you like awareness and control, but uh, like like vehicle control. But like in the UK, it's all about here's the procedure: check mirror yeah, A, yeah, check yeah. mirror yeah. B, check, check your I, blind spots. Yeah, yeah, check yeah. your blind spots. Just, I, 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 I get it, but like in in Thailand, it's just like uh, you you must learn to become super sane, ultra <laughs> instincts. This is how you just, drive. This is the best way to take a hit from a car. <laughs> <laughs> if someone hits you on the head, this is yeah. how you curl up this correctly. Is, this is how you take the least casualties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how to inflict maximum damage on an asshole. Thank <laughs> you.